So far, so good. I've got a clean visual. A direct feed to your optic nerve. <laughs> yes, I should hope so, huh? I mean, how does it feel? To fly like a bird. Like a bird strapped to a remote control rocket. <laughs> we will get you in safely, Tovarich. Just relax and enjoy the ride. Right. Can you hear me, Raiden? Doctor. Remember the two procedures to maintain your new body. One, seizing nano-repair units from your foes. And two, absorbing from their electrolytes. I got it. Yes, enemy cyborgs should provide plenty of MCFC electrolytes once you slice them open and uh, extract their fluids. They're terrorists. I was planning on that anyway. Oh, and their left hands, if you please. Excuse me? Is a combat data stored on holographic memory, typically located in the left hand. That data is very valuable. <clears throat> I am authorized to offer you upgrades and services in exchange for it. How generous. Ich liebe Kapitalismus. Had the world come down a few years earlier, I would have a Nobel Prize on my shelf. There, I see land. Three mics out and closing. Roger. No activity at the airbase. Looks like we don't need to worry about interceptors. Great. Then we have time for a quick briefing. I know you miss me, Kev, but I've been all over the materials. <laughs> That's what you said before Montenegro. Look, just humor me, buddy. Objectives, of course, are enter Abkhazia, neutralize the terrorists, and restore the rightful government. Or what's left of it, anyway. The president and most of the cabinet have been killed, and a military junta's been established. The terrorists brain-jacked all the high-ranking officers, and their cyborgs scattered the rank and file. The few leaders who have survived have no way of openly opposing the new regime. That's why they called us. Andrei Dolsev, leader of the occupation forces, an extremist linked to both the St. Petersburg massacre of 2015 and last year's terror spree in Georgia. And his arms supplier? None other than Desperado Enforcement LLC. Bonnie's killers. If we don't stop them here, they could destabilize the entire region. But our more immediate problem is Jetstream Sandy. I believe you've met. <sighs> the only problem I see is that nickname. I've got my enhancements this time. He won't be an issue. He may not even be in country. But keep an eye out just in case. Oh. Uh, sorry. Ready for insertion. What is going on YouTube? What's happening today, man? So we have our Cyborg Ninja going into action today. So there's no more snake. But that's okay. That's alright. We got an even crazier player here. Who leaves no man alive. We just take them out. There's no more tranquilizing, no tranquilizing gun. The tranquilizer is out of here. No one putting them to sleep. We just take them out with the sword. I think that's the katana with some kind of electrical um, effect of it. I don't know. Here we go, our first opponent. And let's see what we're going to do with this. So, I'll take this moment to thank you guys for coming to my channel and subscribing. Leaving your comments, leaving your likes, thank you very much, and I will continue posting. So continue to put those likes up, and leave your comments, tell me what you want to see, what videos you want to see come out, because I'm open to, to um, many options at this moment. So give me your, um, your insight, your look, 
and I'll be um, open for um, suggestions. Fine. I could take these guys with no eyes. Intel wasn't exaggerating on the cyborg count. Well, you know how fast the tech's been spreading these last few years. That CNT muscle fiber packs the power of a jackhammer into every limb. What enterprising soldier of fortune could resist? And cyborgs are still human. Real thinking people. Way less risk of collateral damage than your typical UAV strike. And don't forget the PR angle. Nations start playing Frankenstein with their troops, and the public goes nuts. PMCs, on the other hand, are off the ethical radar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They still don't even count PMCs in official death tolls. With SOP out of the picture, private militaries needed a new edge on the market. We got it. In a way, cyborgs are just SOP troops by another name. Only all muscled up and less predictable. But it makes you wonder, where did Desperado find these guys? I'm not complaining. They're like walking vending machines. Right. Vending machines full of blood. <laughs> Easy there, Dracula. Like I said, they're still people. People who terrorize and take innocent lives for money. They sowed their fate when they took this job. I'm just the Reaper. Damn. It's a bit cold, right? Even for you. Anyway, uh, his school. Let's get to work. Time to increase the peace. Right. go again so bear with me I don't know anything about the game but I do know about Metal Gear the last one that came out on PlayStation Riders, 3 but give me your status looks clear no one in sight good let's recap the route you will take as I said the enemy's HQ is in the refinery along the coastline Dolsayev has been spotted there using satellite photography. Also on site, Mistral, a desperado captain. So I go through the city, cross the bridge into the old town, then head down to the rear of the refinery. Still, I think they anticipate us. They will probably have a grand reception awaiting you at the old city. Do not let your guard down. Yeah, well, for this one, I don't know um, anything about it. I know with Snake, you always have to, like, um, you always, um, you know, sneak around, you crawl, you hide in boxes and stuff. But it looks to me like, um, this guy's gonna be, like, going, you know, straight for confrontation. He's gonna just go straight up to the enemy and just slash him. Even though you're gonna be in a little, you're gonna do a little stealth, but it's totally different from what Snake does, you know. He, he goes around... He would avoid enemies sometimes, but it looks like um, this guy's going to just go up there and slash him. He's going to slash people. He's the rip. He's Jack the Ripper here. <laughs> I like that, you know. I like that. I like that. I, lo I love Snake, too. I love Snake, you know. It's a classical game. I love that, but I can see the creators decided, you know what, we got to go with a different angle this time. We want to see a lot more blood, gore, and, you know what I mean? We want to see a lot more action. And I love that about this, man. I can see their advance in the game, uh, especially in, in these times. You know, people want to see Snake, but they don't. They don't want to see the old same old thing again. They want to see some crazy action. Even though Snake did have some action, you see that? That guy just took that guy's freaking head off. He took his head off, man. <laughs> you know, if that was um, Snake now, he would probably put a tranquilizer in him and just bail. But yeah, th but right. this time these guys they want to really. Down. They, they, took it up and, they took to it up and took it up and notch here. Your body analyzes radar and IR data to construct your AR display. Ah, some civilians are still in the city. That is not good. And Raiden is the character that, that we're playing with. And he is, seems to be the kind of guy that doesn't, you know, he start, he chopped their head off mutilate them and then ask questions later <laughs> oh boy but yeah thank you guys for coming to my channel 
You know, I appreciate each and every one of you. There we go. We got some action here. Ooh, that was that half his body? And I think he's supposed to sneak around, but I just went into it, man. I, I couldn't hold it. I couldn't hold it back. I was feeling this guy's sword. He reminds me of the ninja guy and stuff that's going on. You know what I mean? He looks, <laughs> he runs like him. I like that ninja type of stuff, man. I like mutilating people. That's what I like doing. You know? And I can't help that stealth stuff. That's for the past. We in the future right now. Ooh, you so hey, what is that? An RPG he just hit me with? It's crazy. Damn. Yeah, man. I'm enjoying this game so far, man. I, I love it. You know, I love that. Woo! Woo! Is that a combo? Yeah, I love this game, man. You know, I just want I wanna um do a walkthrough, but you know, I gotta see that people actually is actually coming to my channel to look at the game. If I could see if I get a big response on this, I'm gonna do a walkthrough of this. Along with the, the the new Tomb Raider that's coming out, I want to do a walkthrough of that game. I'm a huge Tomb Raider fan. I had Tomb Raider for almost all systems. I've been playing the the Metal Gear Solid series and the Tomb Raider since um it came out in NES and for the Metal Gear and for the um Tomb Raider, I've been playing it since um, Game Boy. Oh, and who don't remember the, the the giant walking robot cow thing, man? Who don't remember this from, from the last Metal Gear? And this thing is crazy. It's crazy, man. Trust me. I used to have such a problem beating this thing in the last Metal Gear. Oh, man. This shit would piss me off. It took me. I used to play the game extremely hard. And it took me quite some time when these things run out. They would come like by the, the freaking, it comes like by five of them at once and shit. I hated that, man. I hated that. And yes, I died there, but here we go again. You see, that's why I hated that thing, man. <laughs> that's the whole reason I hated that thing, because it would piss me the fuck off, man. Trust me. I hated that thing so much. I used to just, took. I almost took my control once and threw that shit at the wall because of this cow looking I don't know what the hell this shit is look at this along with these damn soldiers that's here but I like the last time this guy came and um he saved the snake from one from these things that's who he is man I like that he's a he's a, he's a soldier he's a fighter you know he's, he's into this um hand to hand combat thing well freaking sword to hand cause he's always with his damn katana He's, this is a good character. I love. I, I'm glad they brought this out. It was a surprise to me that they actually wasn't gonna bring back Snake when they announced this game, and that was that was awesome. That's pretty awesome. You know, they're being inventive, and that's what it's all about. That's what we want to see. We want to see stuff like this. You don't just want to see, you know, the same thing over and over. Because I can tell people were getting tired of um, just seeing the same thing. You know, the stealth attack stuff. You want to see some confrontation, some crazy fighting. Not just when you fight the bosses. So, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to leave you with that. Give me a big response, and I'm going to come back with more. Thank you, and have a beautiful day.